This video is for A-level physics looking at homogeneity of equations. The word homo means same. So when we talk about homogeneity of equations, we're talking about showing that equations have the same units on each side of the equation. So the way that we would go about this, for example, if we start with quite a simple equation, v equals u, t u plus half a t, so v equals u plus a t, uh, which is one of our SUVAT equations, uh, we want to show that the units on this side of the equation and the units on this side are the same. So what we do is we start by writing the units of each quantity. So the unit of velocity, or final velocity, is meters seconds to the minus one. The units of initial velocity are meters seconds to the minus one. The units of acceleration are meters seconds to the minus two. And the unit of time is seconds, okay? So once we've done that, what we can then do is, if we think of the equation as the units of V will be equal to the units of U plus the units of A times the unit of T. So we've still got the same equation, but we're just thinking about it in terms of units now. What I wanna do is I wanna substitute all of these different units into this equation. So we have, um, meters seconds to the minus one should be equal to meters seconds to the minus one plus meters seconds to the minus two times seconds. And that seconds is really seconds to the one. So this one will cancel with that seconds to the minus two. And so that will change that to seconds to the minus one, which leaves us with meters seconds to the minus one is equal to meters per second plus meters per second, which is just meters per second. So you can see the units on the left hand side, and even though we're adding these together, they're just the same units, are equal. So this shows that this home equation is homogeneous. Another example from SUVAT, which is a little bit different, would be S equals UT plus half AT squared. So this is another one of our SUVAT equations. So we do the same process. So S is displacement, so the unit of displacement is meters because it's distance in a given direction. And we have the others already, but just for completeness. So U, which is initial velocity, is uh, meters seconds to the minus one. The unit of T is second, and the unit of A will be meters seconds to the minus two. So then we do the same process. We substitute in our uh, units into the equation. So we would get meters should be equal to uh, meters seconds to the minus one times seconds to the one plus uh, half doesn't have any units because it's just a number. So we can ignore that completely. And then it's just A, which is meters seconds to the minus two and t squared, since t, the unit of t is seconds, the unit of t squared right, is going to be seconds squared. So that is seconds there. Uh, and then what we can see is that the seconds here cancel, and the seconds here and here cancel. So we're just left with meters and plus meters as well. So that's still meters. So we can see that the unit, if I break it down like that, it's meters on both sides. So the equation is homogeneous. You can do this for any equation that we do, but it's really important that the units on each side of the equation must always uh, match up. So follow this process, write the equation, write what each of the units are, then go through and substitute the units into the equation and cancel through the powers until you can show that they are the same on each side. 